stopped short, and that's four to Sadiq. Oh, I wonder if this isn't going to be England's day. It's unusual to see Hendrik uh, start off his first over with two as short as that. Sadiq making the most of it there. to Majid. And again the flash and he's dropped it. <laughs> Pass finger was up, uh, halfway up, he pulled it down and a in first and second slip and it was a lovely piece of reaction there from Ian Belton. So England snap up their first wicket falling at 27. Majid Khan out for seven. This is the way he went. Useful delivery. Found the outside edge. And, uh, excellent catch there by Ian Belton. And the scoreboard showing 27 for the first wicket falling uh, as it should have done on the bowling we've seen today to Mike Hendrick. So England after nine overs were 14 for two. And Pakistan just double that. 28 for two. It's Hendrick to Sadiq. are here. Just took the pace off that and still got a single. And the local cricketer, Chris Ald. And the total moves on to 30 for three. So our here is two and the new batsman, Arun Rashid, is one.
wickets in eight balls for Mike Hendrick. A very straightforward first flip catch. Gently off the outside edge. Thank you very much. There's the scoreboard for you. You see the wicket come up. That's 30 for four. A tremendous hush all around this ground. You could hear a pin drop out there at one stage. It was quite boisterous. And a great deal of tension. Sitting quietly and thoroughly enjoying it. here for Asif. Two. Three runs. for Pakistan. Good applause and uh, the Pakistan contingent there under the scoreboard. Hendrick coming in to uh, finish the spell. And what a great spell it's been. There he is, taking his sweater, the man responsible for bringing England very much back into this game. Remarkable figures. And the crowd here probably counted those runs. There's only 15 come from his 12 overs, and uh, he snapped up those four wickets in rapid succession. <laughs> 